Nigerian army publishes old pictures of destroyed Boko Haram vehicles to claim Damasak victory. The Nigerian army posted photographs showing damaged vehicles from the Boko Haram terrorists in Damasak Bono State on Friday to show its troop decimated the terrorists, but checks by Sahara reporters have revealed that the photographs are old images. The photographs shared by the army on Friday are actually from a March 15 operation in the same Damasak which was reported and shared by several media, including Caliber Obscura. That's the name. Um, oh, wow. Okay, fine. Oh, so then on the 15th of March, 2021, Caliber Obscura posted on Twitter that same picture saying, hashtag Nigeria after a large ISIS attack in Damasak. Images have been posted of nine AKs and RPG-7s and an NSVM. All these basically arms <laughs> um burned out um and it's currently unclear who the original owner was and that same oh that is so bad that is so bad and then that same image is being used um by the nigerian army which they posted on twitter um saying how i swapped senior commander fighters on revenge mission met their waterloo at damasak they met their waterloo and as they made a comeback following the neutralization of 12 high-value ISOP commanders in mobile LGA in a week-long air and ground operation. Wow, this is so sad. It's actually very sad. But again, it, it shows you can't deceive Nigerians. And I guess for the government, the internet and, you know, the use of technology by Nigerians, especially in the South, to a very, to a very effective level, shows how much they, how anxious they are for the fact that they can't necessarily deceive us and the internet stores everything. All we need to do is go and do our research, type in the date and everything will come up. So again, you, everything is being watched, everything is being recorded. So again, I guess um, that's why they're so scared for cryptocurrency. They don't they don't want anything that would um, that would um, emancipate the people from the dependence of them. Um, not that Nigerians are depending on them in any sort of way, but um, well, sort of in for corruption and for... Uh, for the less privileged and for oppression that is why actually they depend on us for the continuation for the oppression until we step out of it and we make ourselves unavailable it won't continue but what i'm basically trying to say is that they cannot deceive us all the time because the internet stores everything and using the same pictures that was used a long time ago um to deceive who now that's the thing you can't fool all of us. You can fool some people. Sometimes you cannot fool all the people all the time. Uh, somebody says, Nigerian army, you people are folding our hands. You underestimated the so-called Boko boys. Criminal element. And this is what you get. Fake cops. Who are they? Who are they scammed? We all know Boko Haram in Nigeria is a scam. Whenever an army needs money, they formulate fake news. But then the money is not from us. Well, we pay taxes, but still. Um, someone says, so lies is also contagious. No wonder our FG successfully infected our military. Now they're also lying for performance. A time is coming where we don't even believe them again. We already don't. If they stop giving us back-to-back -back lies. I mean, <laughs> last year was was their their ex expose year where we just saw them for who they were, you know? Um, they blatantly lied to us. They never had any plans. Their backup plans of oppression did not work. When they get confronted about so many things, they fainted on stage. They fight in, you know, in the House of Commons, House of Representatives. I wait, House of Commons, not in the UK, in the House of Assembly and all that. Um, the way they fight, the way they fall asleep, the way they start crying. I am in pain. Like all these things, we make fun of them, but it just shows that they don't even respect the office that they represent and it just shows that you know the when we catch them in a lie all they can do is be a joke because that's what they are uh, someone says the yeah, nigerian army can lie always running from boko haram and that i don't even know like my personal opinion is they also need to demand because then if they decided that they were not gonna fight because i genuinely think this is my opinion now. I'm not saying this is based on fact or anything, but I just think that a lot of, you know, especially Southern soldiers should sort of just retreat a little bit um, and sort of work on their own regions, honestly, because the government for what? For 17, I don't know how many years, since 2009, Sha, 
like they never they never really attacked or had great victory of Volker. I mean, it's, it's always been lies always always been lies and then they print money get money here and there and then they can't invest into the the army doesn't make sense absolutely doesn't make sense um so yeah i, I don't know the army they are middlemen they will not send their children to go to the job the army is doing so then if the south if you can if you can confirm that every southerner is not a part of of the army then we now know okay fine who is who who and who is, who, are, who and who are fighting because one time we got news about soldiers that were killed and most of them were from the south and most of them were christian so again i'm not trying to push any you know idea or anything but my personal opinion is we are bearing the brunt especially for for us that do not even make up the majority of the nation because then they 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 want to take the majority of power but when it comes to the work they would not want to use themselves all they do is gatekeep uh, somebody says I strongly disagree with this. We saw a video of Nigerian army with theater commander in Damasak after the battle. We all saw the government, the governor passing night there, as well as possessing a lot of possessing, or as well as assessing actually the damages. We also saw the people that came back going about their businesses. All right. Um. Someone says, uh, Oya Timaya brother, go and arrest chief of army staff staff for lying during Ramadan fast. Oh, so they basically put a picture of a, of a Isba commander or somebody and a person looks like Tamaya, apparently. Uh, somebody says, Mazi, Mazi Simon Ekpa said Nigerian government breeds criminals and he is 101%. Um, right. Nothing good will come out of Nigeria. I It's very sorry for this country as everything changed to politics. Again, we only have one party ruling Nigeria is the corrupt parties. And they're all under the guise of APC, PDP, all of them. Um, so yeah, 2021, we can make change. But again, we have a lot of work to do, a lot of catching up to do, especially with the rest of the world when it comes to, you know, development and technology. And how we can sustain that. But again, I, I digress. The fact is, the, it, the Nigerian army cannot deceive us. They cannot deceive us. And Nigerian army in terms of the body, the organization itself, not the fighters, but ones who are putting out news, working hand in hand with, you know, with elites to to push a propaganda or something. But again, they can't deceive all Nigerians. It's it's impossible. It cannot work. But yeah, it is what it is. People I think about this in the comment section. Do you think that um the Nigerian army has a, a whole a whole agenda to, to, to say what is not? And also do you think that the, the what do you think of the Nigerians or the uh, the soldiers themselves and how do they feel being in such compromising position of where the view of them not that the view of their of their head of the organization itself is bad but then they need all the support that they can get how do they even feel why can't soldiers just i mean they're fighting but um at least a few of them come out and say what the experience is like because no they're not really saying what they they're going for and how they're being treated so again i don't know i don't know put i think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe